Now, how do I write these commands and how exactly I need to put this particular part? Let's discuss that first. Okay, let's discuss the command points first, but how to code them? We'll see it in the next point. So first thing first, let's go and understand the CSS three commands. CSS uh, commands here. The first command is the send command. Okay, send command here. Now in the program, guys, in the program, send is like a result, guys. Send is like an output for us. Send is like an output statement, guys, like an output statement. Now, once your send is completed, guys, that your task is completed. That's the meaning of that. So in here, in the program, in the program, we use in two cases, okay? We use in two cases. One of the case is to send a map for the first time, for the first time, okay? When you're sending the map for the first time, generally it is an empty map. Okay? Generally it is an empty map. The second case is sending the result, guys. Okay, send the result. The result may be only map, only data, or on map and data together. Map and data together. So send command contains two scenarios. One of the scenario is that you are sending the map for the first time onto the screen, or the sending the data as a result onto the screen for second time. So in here, if you want to send the map for the first time, okay, 1000, send empty map okay let's say send empty map here in this case okay come on if you are sending an empty map here first thing first we need to clean the variables because you are sending an empty map you need to clean your variables so first thing first you'll be doing like this move low values you very important guys what i'm writing is very important some of the things that you write in the cobal css program has a different meanings so move low values to map name O. This is your output group, guys. This is your output group and you are initializing with low values. Anil, why I need to initialize with low values? In the batch program, guys, in the batch program, for any numeric variable, we initialize with zeros. For alpha numeric, we initialize with the space. That is batch scenario. But for online, guys, Assume like this, if I send the screen, okay, assume like this, guys, if the send I screen like this with zero as the initial value, will the user will confuse or not? If I send the screen, guys, if I send the screen here like this, will the user will confuse or not? Yes, sir. Obviously, he will be confused. Anil, what is this? I'm seeing all zeros because for a user, guys, for a user, zero is a value. For us in a technical point, from our point of understanding, from COBOL point of understanding, we can consider zero as a value or zero as an initializing point as well. But from the user point of view, guys, zero is a data, guys. So you cannot do that. So in COBOL CSS program, initializing is done by low values, which are hexadecimal switch cases, guys. Okay, low values are the hexadecimal values. Now, you know, guys, hexadecimal values are not visible. Those are not visible, guys. So this will act as a switch for us. OK, this will act as a switch for us, guys. On and off switches, guys. OK, low value means off. High value means on like that. You can remember. So you're going to off your all the variables or move the low values as the technical initializing concept. And then you're going to use the send command except CSS send map you the name of the map map set you the name of the map set and you need to send the variable what you have here so gonna go for from keyword okay from is the keyword map name o map name o and exit now if you are sending for the first time what you need to do is you need to clean the screen and send you need to clean the screen and send so you will be using arrays option here this is to clear the screen guys clear the screen like we did it okay f3 f3 here we cleared the screen and then we send the map right same thing here when we are sending a map with a particular empty data we need to clean the screen and send now 99 percent the send command will be successful guys we don't check the errors here but let's say there is a 2000 send result para okay send result para is there here in this case what you do is first you need to move the final values final values to your output variables okay to your output variables here 
the symbolic map variables guys okay the symbolic map variable initializing a different story guys fitting the final value is different here for example in our case move double s total okay move double s total to the total variable o like this this is a simple example to tell you once you have all your variables ready guys then you go for the command like this exit cs cs send map again send the map again name of the map send the map set name again like this from which data group so map name o okay when you are sending it is always from the o now sometimes okay generally this is a full syntax guys but sometimes you will be having one of the option you can use as map data only here okay the reason is this is second time you are sending guys okay then you are sending the second time cci send map uh, one second see yeah C I send map. Okay, I want to do something, but I thought I can do it later. Map set M set add here. Now assume user has pressed an enter key to do the total, guys. Now if you see from the user point of view and the technical point of view, the map is already on the screen. The map is already on the screen. I need to just put the data here, right? I just need to keep the total here. So in such cases, you can use data only option. Okay, by default, guys, okay, by default, you'll be sending data, map and data always, map plus data always, guys. But if at all you are sending data only, which means already the screen map is there, for the same map, you just want to fill the data variables. So that is called data only option. And when you are doing this one, do not use arrays option. OK, don't use arrays option because if you use arrays option in data only, the fields all will be gone. Only the data will be showing you, which is itself is a wrong for us. So arrays is used when you are sending the full map with the data here. Arrays is not supposed to use when you are doing this one. Instead, what you can use is arrays A up. This is to clean only the data fields, guys. OK, clean only the unprotected data fields okay unprotected data fields generally don't use this all things okay i'm just explaining you in the intro point of view into the last you when you'll use arrays when you'll use arrays a up if you use arrays it means you want to clean the screen and send map and data together if you want to send only data then only clean the fields and resend these fields only the map everything will be as it is now along with that you will might to use the keyword called free kb this is to free the keyboard guys free the keyboard because when you receive the keyboard will be locked whenever you are sending the result you need to free the keyboard and this one will help you to go for end exit like this again one point here one point here sending the map guys is a two scenarios you will be sending an empty map when you send the screen for the first time okay if you see this one if this is my first time trigger guys, if this is my first time trigger here, you need to send an empty map like this. After I give the enter guys, you need to send me the result. So empty map sending is different. Result map sending is different guys. So there are two different send commands that you will be writing here. So if it is an empty map, please clean the variables and send it. There will be a lot of junk data guys. You need to clean them mandatorily and very important. And when you are sending the data, guys, make sure you have your final outputs in your group variables and then use that one to send it. Some cases, if you are using data only, then you need to work on with this one. If you don't give anything, OK, if you don't give anything, this is fine. This will look the same way as well. Clear? Any questions? Any questions, guys? Send command. Either you send empty or you send with data. The second case is very straight away. Second case is straight away, guys. This is receive command. Second case is receive command, guys. This is only used for receiving, guys. Used only to receive the data, guys. Nothing else. It won't receive the map as such anything. There is no differentiation. But the story will be real different here. In the receive para, guys, in the receive para, always initialize your variables again okay before you get the second input okay before you get the second input or third input or fourth input you need to clean the variables always remember this i'll tell you the reason also 
why you need to initialize every time. But do this one to your map name I here input. Clean the variables input. OK, automatically guys automatically map name O also will be cleaned will be cleaned here. So this is the reason guys of redefines. OK, the reason is the system is having a redefined topic there. Then write the command exit CSS yes, receive as the command here receive the map give a map name here map set give a map set name here into you know you can understand the words send from receive into so map name i and then this time the receive command has a scenario of getting failure guys so you need to catch the written code now for a files okay if you are submitting a jsl guys okay i'll write it for here for a jsl job submission guys whether it is success or not you'll be seeing by maxis code if you are doing any file operation guys okay file operation whether it is success or not you'll be seeing with the status code if you are doing any sql query guys if you are running an sql query in a db2 program guys this query is done successfully or not will be given by sql code zero or not similarly you have a cscs command to run guys system can tell it is success or not by using a response code guys the response code is not zero guys normal case of case the words will be used here in case of others we have used zero and everything but in our cscs we'll be using the wording part so if the response code is normal then it is successful guys else case all errors only else case everything is an error you need to handle it so to catch this response guys you'll be writing a variable like this response ws response code in this one you need to define this variable in your program ws response code here picture class s9 of 8 comp and then end exit the possible cases guys okay once you got the response code you need to check like this if the response code of dfh resp of normal guys okay dfh response of normal here then you got a record got a input successfully process the receive process the request else case okay else case guys we will be having one more expected case one more expected case is dfh resp of map fail there is an error called map fail whenever you see a map fail guys this means we have not received that's the point here we have not received at least one input guys we have not received at least one input also the reason is no field is in mdt on guys okay no field has been set here no field has been set every other field on the screen is in the fr set position if you want to receive any data field guys if you want to receive any data the field must be in set position guys if the user did not edit any field okay user did not edit any field and simply we pressed an enter key guys then that means the system has received no data such cases you'll get this error called map fail error in this case you need to send an error message send an error message saying that please provide required input please provide the required input kind of message you need to send it back to the user and then else case if nothing happened guys then append the program okay exit cscs uh, append ab code give the code number here okay like this and exit now this is generally to append your program very rash way but you can still do this okay you can still do like this as well here like in our uh, training programs we have used call aws append pgm right similar to that kind of category here you can check your response code and see if it is normal still continue the process if it is a map fail something is not received here get back to the user other than this if something comes you can append these are very rare cases guys okay getting a map fail is also we can solve it in a design only we can create a field with upset and always will receive that so but in general for knowledge guys 99 percent your command will be successful only one percent you may see this later part so one command is for sending one command is for receiving receiving is always to receive the data only there is no variations 
But before you receive, always make sure you clean your variables, get the data, then check the reason whether it is successful or not. Based on that, you need to react to your command. Any questions here? Send, receive, and the third fellow is there, guys. The last fellow is the written command. Now, written command, as I told you guys, there are two types here we'll be using in the program. One is to return only. In this case, you'll be writing the command like this, exit CSS return and exit. That's it. No other thing you'll be writing. In here, the, this is used when user want to exit, when user want to exit the transaction, like I want to come out of the ATM process. So that is my decision to come out of the process. So that is the place where you need to use the written command. The second is written with transaction ID, written with transaction ID. For this, you'll be writing the full command here, exit CSS, written as the command with transaction ID. You need to mention the transaction ID. What is this transaction ID, Anil? I'll tell you guys, I'll tell you. With the com area variable, some variable here. What is this variable, Anil? I'll explain to you also. We need some more time. We need some more time to understand those two points. For this, we need some more knowledge. Now, this is used when program want to exit, guys. Program want to exit, or I want to tell you the developer want to exit, guys. Developer want to exit the transaction, exit the task, not transaction. There are two written commands, guys, okay, in COBOL CSS program. Let me write it, guys, in COBOL CSS programs, guys, okay, COBOL CSS programs. We don't use, we don't use stop run or go back or anything, guys. Nothing is required. Even go back is also not required. Nothing is required, guys. Instead, we use the written command, guys. Instead, we use the written command here. The written command, guys, will stop the process. The command, guys, the command will stop the process anyway, stop the process that we know, but also release the resource, guys, which is important for us, which is release the resource. Resource in the sense, what is the resource, Anil? System will allocate some memory, guys, that will be gone. System will have a connection to the file, guys, that will be gone. System may have a DB2 connection, guys, that is also gone here. So anything that is system is holding for your transaction, guys, those all related resource will be released with this written command. If you use a stop run or go back or exit program, guys, this releasing will not happen. You will come out of the process, okay? You'll come out of the process, guys, but the releasing will not happen properly. If there is a file, the file has to be closed, right? Okay, the file has to be closed. The file has to be disconnected so that another system, another transaction can use it. So these things will be done with the written command. But there are two variations here. One will be the case where user want to exit. One is the case when developer want to exit the program. So two situations in a single program, you may have both the cases as well. Okay, if it is a, if your project is running on a single screen, guys, then in that particular program, you'll be having both the commands. Return will be there, return transaction ID will be there. Now, these are the three commands that you will be writing in every COBOL CSS map program, okay? If it is a COBOL CSS map design program, guys, you need this send, receive, and return commands. Send is having two scenarios. You're gonna send an empty map. You're gonna send a only the uh, result as well. Receive command, guys, has only one variation to get the data. Return has two variations again. Now, any questions before I go to the next main point? Easy point only, but main point. Any questions here? Questions, guys? Yes, sir. 